In this week's Perasha, Perasha Vayakel, the Pasuk tells us, Vayakel Moshe et kol adat b'nei Israel. It says that Moshe Rabbeinu collected and gathered all of b'nei Israel to teach them the halachot of Shabbat and many various different halachot that he was going to speak about. But the commentaries tell us that at the end of his speech and at the end of the gathering, it says that b'nei Israel left milifne Moshe. It says that they left from Moshe Rabbeinu. They left from in front of Moshe and they went home. And the question is, why does the Torah have to tell us and waste words? We know the Torah doesn't waste words. Why does the Torah have to tell us that they left Moshe if they were in front of Moshe? And Moshe was giving them a divre Torah. Moshe was speaking to them. It's obvious that where did they leave from? They left from Moshe. So why does it have to tell us that? And our commentaries in the Ba'alei Musa tell us an unbelievable answer. There are many times in our life we get inspired by many different people. Our rabbis, our teachers, our morot, our parents. And the question is, are we able to go out into the world and show people that we come from that school? We come from that household. There are so many times that we leave the inspiration behind from our parents, from our rabbis. But our job is to not leave it behind. Our job is to take what we learn from our parents, to take our what we learn from our rabbis and our morot, take from what we learn from them and bring it into the world to show people this is what we learned in Halal Yeshiva. This is what we learned in our parents' household. This is the ideals that we grew up with. And it has to be evident on our faces and, our, and on our actions of where we came from. We have a big responsibility in life to represent where we came from. B'nai Israel, when it says that they left Milifne Moshe, they left from Moshe Rabenu, it means that they represented Moshe Rabenu. They represent what he taught them, and they were able, it was evident on their faces and on their actions that they learned from Moshe Rabenu and they brought that into the world. That's a Kiddush Hashem. A Kiddush Hashem is when you learn from your rabbis, from your morot, from your parents, and you're able to use those, what you, what, you, what you were taught, you're able to use that in order for those actions that you do to be evident that you left from them, that's a big, big obligation and responsibility that we have. So Bizat Hashem, we should be able to work on taking what we learned, taking the lessons that we learned from everybody in our lives and use them with our actions, with our thoughts. And Bizat Hashem, we should have a Shabbat Shalom. Amen. Thank you for listening.